Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am feeling very inspired and excited for the new cottage living pack that is coming out in July, but I can't wait that long. So today we are going to be building a little cottage style home in The Sims. So let's get started. All right, as you can see, I built the shell of it um, off camera because I wanted to kind of take my time to play around with this a little bit. I wanted to keep it very small and I wanted to play test a few things to make sure that this is going to be big enough. I did the layout of it. Now we are just going to decorate. I always use this roof tile. Maybe I should use something else. Maybe I'll do this one. This one's a little bit more brown color. What door do I want to use? I think maybe maybe the nifty knitting one. Is the red a bit much? Maybe I'll do this like peachy color. Yeah we'll go with the peach and then we'll add the the wallpapers and see see where we'll go from there. All right, I want to do like a stone. I might use this one around these bump outs. And for the majority of it, I want to do some sort of paneling. Maybe I'll do this one from Outdoor Retreat. Kind of like that. It's a very similar color to this stone. Is it too similar though? All the other colors for this are really ugly. I don't think I like this door anymore. Maybe we'll just do the brown one. That's more, more normal, I guess. I'll do a light brown foundation. Maybe I should change the color of this like band and this trim. Make that a darker brown. All right, I think that's okay. Some windows here. We'll do some white windows. I think probably the get together ones would be the best for this. I think these ones along this. Maybe I'll do the shorter windows up top do the taller ones on the bottom. And for the majority of the house, I really wanted to do these ones, but I don't like the black on there. Maybe I'll do... that's too big. I guess I'll do this one for some of the rooms, and I'll do this one where there's more space for it, which is not a lot of places. Okay, basically just one. <laughs> kind of want to put something up here. Let's see if there's a small window that kind of matches the style of these ones. I could do this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that one, and I'll put it here as well. So that's gonna be the outside of the house. We are going to, you know, play around with it a little bit more once we finish the inside. Okay, I think we'll start with the bathroom, kind of get that over real quick. I might use the stranger bill doors. I don't know, I want something that's like a little bit different, you know? I'll use the, the uh, cats and dogs doors, actually. We'll do this wood color. As far as curtains go, maybe I'll do these ones. We'll go with the gray for now. I might end up using a lot of cats and dogs in this build. Something like that. I might go for blue in here. I might have to use the tiny living mirror. It's the only one that like fits up here. kind of want to do just a bathtub in here. Let's move this to this wall. I like how this look kind of brings in the blue and the woods. Probably gonna end up using a lot of packs for this one, so sorry about that. I really want to put something in this section, but I can't figure out what. I wonder if I should just do a hamper. I like this one. Maybe I'll just put a plant in the corner. And maybe I'll size this down a little bit. <laughs> Let's do the wallpaper. I like that one. Maybe I'll do a dark blue floor. Maybe I'll do a dark gray floor. That's fine. This is considered dark gray. I'm not liking any of these. What about a black one? I think I'll just do this one. No. No, let's do a dark brown. Let's see about that. Okay, I think I like this one. I think this is what I usually use when I use this wallpaper too, so. And I kind of want something like above the toilet here. I really like this thing. Maybe, maybe I'll do it in this brown. Kind of matches the brown that's on the sink. And then I want like a small painting right here. And then I think I will be done with the bathroom. Maybe I'll do one of these. I like this color. It's so big. Yeah, size down is a little bit better. And I'll just do a little rug in front of the bathtub here. Now for a little chandelier. Maybe I'll do this blue one from the Dream Home Decorator pack. Or where's the triple? That gives off more light. I'm actually just gonna look through the curtains real quick, see if I find something else that I like more than that. Maybe I'll use these ones. Yeah, I like those ones better. Now we're gonna move on to the main area. Let's get some floors. Might as well do the cats and dogs ones since I'm using that so much. 
Alright, I'm gonna do the kitchen real quick. I kind of want to do something weird with the kitchen because I want this to be the dining space and then the kitchen will be like along these walls. I don't know, I really want to put an island in here. That kind of works. So let me just make sure that I can put a table in here. And your sims should be able to get back here. I wonder if I make these ones down. Would that give you more space? No, not really. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with that. I'll probably try to play test this before I upload it just to make sure that it does work. But that's what we're gonna go for for right now. We're going to put stove here, fridge here. Oh, I can't put the fridge here? All right, that's okay. I think I can just, I can put it here. <laughs> I can't put that there. I'm gonna try on move object and I'm gonna put it right there. I feel like this should be plenty of space for your sims to like walk around. So if that doesn't work, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. I think I'll just do the white appliances. I don't know, I kind of want to do the orange. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the orange with these like kind of darker blue cabinets. I kind of like that. I'm gonna change this dining table in a minute. I think that's really cute. I'm gonna grab the stones that are outside, bring that in here. Let's grab a dining table. I have to use a small one. I'm not really sure which one to use. Maybe I can get a tall table. Which one was it? I think Tiny Living came with a tall table. I just gotta figure out where it is. Here it is. It didn't come in like the, the normal the normal section for some reason. Yeah, and then gotta do some bar stools. These come in an orange color. They're a bit too bright though. I might not be able to find anything that matches this. I think I'm gonna do these ones. Maybe in blue. Ooh, I'll do these ones in orange. Actually, yeah, I'll do these ones in this color too. Okay, I like how that looks. Let's get some curtains. I'll probably just do these ones in here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna have some problems. <laughs> well, one worked. Let's see if I can put this on here without these windows here. That looks okay. It's not ideal, but it looks okay. Let's just get a few decorations in here. There's tons of space to cook, so that's good. I'll just grab all of the decorations from the country kitchen kit. All right, we just need some rugs, I think. Should I switch these? Okay, that looks okay. We'll do this one. There we go. That looks nice. And I'll put one here too. It's not like a crazy yellow. Is that lighting a little bit better? You can kind of see my face now. I just want to put a tiny plant on this table. If I size that down. Let's just get some... Let's get those little paintings in the kitchen here. These ones. I think I just size that down. It's really big. And I'll do this one over here. I think that's going to be it for the um, kitchen and dining room area. Now let's do the living area. Not really sure how I want to lay this out. I think we'll put it here. It is very close to the kitchen. We can get a blue chair. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for in this room. We'll do this rug. Default swatch is pretty nice. I just don't know if I want to use this chair or this chair. Yeah, actually, I think I'll put it... I'll do the big one in this corner here. That way it's not, like, blocking the bathroom. I think I'll use this eco-lifestyle thing. Nah, no, I don't like that in here. Ooh, maybe I should do this one. Okay, we need a small coffee table. I think maybe there's just not enough space for even a small coffee table. Unless we did this one, which I might do. Like, two of them. That looks okay. We can just put something small there, like some books or something. And we've got all this empty space here that I don't know what to do with. Maybe I'll just put like a fireplace and then like a reading nook here. I think that might be the best thing for this. I might do these chairs from Paranormal. These are very similar to the blue of the kitchen. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do one and then we'll have a big bookshelf. This isn't a very big house. You don't need a lot of space for a lot of people. I'll just do this cats and dogs one. I'm gonna paint the walls real quick. I think I'm just gonna do like a beige, just a beige color. Yeah, that looks decent. I might do like a beige rug as well. I'm gonna do that city living rug. Size that up. Yeah, that comes in a nice beige color. All right, let's get a floor lamp. We do this one. No, maybe a yellow one. It's pretty ugly. I might do this one. We'll see if there's another one that I like more. There's this cats and dogs one. Yeah, I like that. We'll just do a small painting here. 
What if I size this one down? Let's get this over a little bit more. That kind of looks nice. And then I can fit a little plant down there. Probably one from the paranormal stuff pack to the bigger one. I really like how all of this looks. Let's get some different lighting. We'll probably add a TV, some more decorations, and then we will move on to the bedroom. Oh, this one's got a nice blue and yellow swatch. I put a single one up there to kind of match. I'll do the yellow swatch over there. So that looks okay. I guess I'll do these ones in here, mix it up a little bit. All right, I'll grab a TV for this real quick. I'll do one of the smaller ones. And then maybe I'll put that big seasons painting back here. Maybe I'll do one of the city living ones. I don't like how any of these look. It's got the same colors, but it's maybe too modern, I think. Yeah, I don't like that. Maybe I'll do a wall hanging. Because these give off like the same vibe, but they're a lot cheaper than the paintings. Maybe I'll do this one from Nifty Knitting. Oh, I'll do these. These match really well. Where's the other one? Really wish that they were next to each other. <laughs> okay, I can't find that. Let's see. Should have been right next to it. All right, I'm looking around and I think I'm pretty much done with this section. I'm gonna add a trash can. Yeah, I really like how this looks. We're going to move on to the bedroom. Now the bedroom's gonna be a little bit tricky because it's a very odd shape. Maybe I'll do this one. I'll do the blue one. The blue has a better wood swatch that matches. I'll make sure that this works. I'll, I will play test this. I will actually play test this. I'll put these curtains in here. I was gonna make this like the dressing room area and I wanted to put a bunch of things on the walls but I can't do that if I have a bunch of windows up. So we'll get rid of most of the windows. We'll cover the outside with like trees and stuff. All right, is there like a kind of neutral? There is not. I really wanted like a beige to kind of match these ones. Maybe there is in, well, yeah, I guess the default swatch in the Eagle Lifestyle ones matches really well. God dang it. Come on. <laughs> I wonder if I should put it on this wall instead. That'll give you more space. That looks better. All right, I'm not sure if I want to use this in here or not. I don't think I'm going to. I would like a really light, light yellow. All right, let's look at that, um, the Paranormal Stuff Pack wallpaper. It comes in yellow. It's a very bright yellow. Maybe I should do the dark blue. That's kind of the same color as the other blues in the house. And then maybe I'll do a yellow bed. I kind of like that because there's like yellow in this wallpaper too. Yeah, I think that looks cool. I'm going to use this little drawer and I'd like to add like some of these and then we'll put some clothes there. And, and then I think the dresser. Oops. Let's go to the walls. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe these have a similar color? These are kind of the same. They're separated enough from the bed to work, I think. I'd like something really small down here. And I want to put like shoes. We'll do those ones. We'll get the llama in here. We'll get some boxes. Put some right here. Put that one up there. These ones in there. I'm gonna put this mirror here. I don't like how much that sticks out. I'll get a different mirror. Maybe I should just do this plant. No. I'll put a mirror. I'll get a big mirror there for a rug. I think I'll do this rug in blue? No. Um, maybe I'll do this one instead. Yeah, I like that dark blue. That works. And then I'll grab, try to find those like shirts. Here they are. I think I'll probably just end up putting like some plants down there. This one would be perfect for right here in this yellow. And then I'll put this one down here. Maybe I'll put it right here, actually. I think I'll actually put a hamper here. Okay, yeah, I like how that looks. We'll just get some lighting and we'll get the blue and yellow ones in here too. No, I will put this one in here too. This tiny one, I'll get a blue plant, not that one. I'd like to do this one. I wasn't sure if that was going to fit or not. And then I will just get a mirror here. And next to it, I will put a painting. Gotta find something small. Maybe I'll do the tiny living ones. Maybe those match. There's that one. Let's see if there's kind of a yellow one. Not at all. I'll do this pink one, I guess. All right, I think that is it. I wish there was more right here. Maybe I should just put a window. I don't want to put anything too crazy. kind of hate these though, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna do this just so that there's some light 
yeah i think that looks better it was very cluttered with those lights okay i love this house i think that's it i'm done with the um i'm done with the interior this is very bright and colorful very different from what i usually do now all we need to do is the landscaping i really don't know how i want to do the landscaping like, i have no clue i think i'm going to grab a few trees I want to do some outdoor furniture, like in this corner here. I'm not sure if I want to do benches or chairs. I think I'll do chairs. I'll make a little deck here. And then I'll make like a stone pathway that goes that direction maybe. I think I'll just use one of the terrain. Maybe this one? Okay, I think I'm going to do it like this and then I will fill this section. I'm going to change this flooring though. Maybe I'll do one from my kit. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Okay. Now to add some chairs. I'm not really seeing what I'm looking for. I'd like something kind of like this, but in a single chair form. I want something really like rustic. Maybe I should do this. And then I can put some plants up here. Let's get some like structured plants. Let's do this one. Oh, window boxes. Totally forgot about window boxes. I'm always doing like really cheap builds, so I forget about these. I can never use them. All right, where's that university one? I think this one's probably the best that we're gonna get. I added those all around the house. I think I'm gonna change that door to blue. Yeah, I like that dark blue. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll put like these things up here. That'll look nice. And then I'll just put like a couple more plants right here. Maybe a small one right there. I'll move these chairs around a little bit. I think that's... Is this just like really big? Maybe if I size this down, this will be easier to choose other plants to go with it. I really want to put that lemon tree that's in the base game out here. Here it is. Okay, I kind of hate this plant now. So I think this. And then I like one more to put like right here. Yeah, I should add this. All right, I'm just gonna do the landscaping and then I'll be back when I'm finished. I finished the landscaping. I added a bunch of blue, white, and yellow flowers to kind of match the inside. It's very manicured for a cottage, but I didn't want to go like too crazy with the landscaping like I usually do. That is it. That's the finished house. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love the outside. I love the inside. And of course, this will be on my gallery if you're interested in downloading it. It's Rebecca Sage, just like it's spelled here. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.